Here we are, fishing friends, part two. Yeah, we stuffed up last night because it was like mega rough up on Salinas. So Paul's, Paul's kindly offered to guide me tonight. Paul Harris, he's done it before. Here he is. Hello, mummy. He's, he's the kiddie. Here, I'll get that, mate. Here you are. You've got bad knees. <laughs> he's had two knee replacements, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're going out for it tonight. We'll be out all night and I'll see you, sexy, in the morning. Right. Have a good time. Bye. So here we are, look, we're just off and it's like um, it's like a lunar landscape or is it Mars, life on Mars? So yeah, we've got a bit of a journey. How long are we going, Paul? About 40 minutes. 40, 40 yeah. minute drive, we're heading down south, away from the bait robbing little smooth hounds. Yes. And look at that, looks a bit like Ayers Rock. So here we are. Just down at a, uh, a beach down south, a beach that has no name and shall remain nameless. <laughs> nice. So I have been here before, guys, and um, I did get bitten off by a, a rather large shark, we thought it was. So, yes, that's more like it. Look, flat calm. So, Paul, Dale, and myself arrived on the beach just as it was getting dusk. I was super excited. It was really flat calm, windy, but flat calm, absolutely perfect. The rigs, I took over, you know, a wide selection of rigs, big fish rigs, conga rigs, 100 pound pulley rigs, and bait rigs were small bream rigs, you know, anything with a size 1.0 semicircle hook. But I only went through actually four pulley rigs on the two nights. So you don't need to take a lot of gear. You don't lose much gear either over there, so it's really good. This was my first mackerel bait going out. I was really pleased with that. And look, the sun's just going down. I was super excited at this point, but, you know, very nervous. Yes, the bait. Prawn, anything, anything will do. Any fish, prawn, shell on. I, I even tried sand eel over there. Anything works in Fertiventura. It doesn't matter. You can stick anything out. And, of course, if you get live bait, that's even better. This is the problem. Stripped. So I decided to put on some cuttlefish with the mackerel, see if that made any difference, and it did. Whoa. So this was my first fish really in Fertiventura. A modest sized striped bream, but I was buzzing, you know? Anything on the beach, anything, I didn't care. I just wanted to catch anything. So there she is, my little bream. So I thought I'd give it a little show to the camera and uh, unhook the little darling. Little Isima hook, same as a gilt head rig back in the UK. And uh, yes, what a cutie, eh? There you go, there's my first fish for the night. What is that, a little bream? Is that a white bream? Stripe bream. Stripe bream. <laughs> yes. As you can see, the bait robbers were out in force. Everything was getting stripped clean in minutes. Nightmare. So I decided to utilise a small bream, put it on as bait with a sand eel jammed inside. Very oily, lovely. Even sardine and cuttle seemed to last a bit longer. I was desperate. I was trying everything in my box, even the oils, anything for an advantage. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say, guys. I am just a passenger on this ride. <laughs> It's flowing. I was gaining on it. <laughs> That's the uh, the Black Rock all rounder two pound test curve. 65 quid rod, bent double. Oh my 
get some light on the map there. Still filming, Paul? Yeah. You got the rod, have you? Yeah. Ah, come on. <laughs> Oh my god. Here we are, just about to be spooled by a big stinger or something. I've only got 15 pound Daiwa hyper sensor, hyper sensor, can't even speak. This is not how I imagined things to go in Ferti Ventura. <laughs> I imagine it to be on the other rod. See, it was that extra half hour's fishing that did it. Oh my God. How many yards have I got on here? What, probably 300 yards on here? About that. But why isn't it busted me off? Must be lip hooked, isn't it? Yeah. Keep going, mate. We're getting to the end. We're oh getting to God. the end. This is the end, my friend. You've been spoiled. Right. I've cracked right up on the drag now. This is it. Shit or bust. I'm almost out of line. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, look, look at the rod. Oh, he's going again. Oh, no, this is it, guys. This is the end. It is the end. This is the end, look. I know. It's right up. This is it. Come on. I'm going for the last. <laughs> oh, still recording? Damn. Yeah. Oh, go on, mate. I'm down to the last one. And this... Oh, no, he's going again. No. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's done me. He's done me! <laughs> oh my god. So you said you wanted a big fish. Oh my god, mate. Get your light on. I, just, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Apart from wow. <laughs> the power of those big fish. What can I say, you know, like... Yeah. 15 pound line man you were never going to land that fish you know i know that's a lot of line that's just gone out but hopefully it's parted at the end so i'll get this in now and hopefully it's all good yeah but ow wow well i got me run didn't i he's got, it. <laughs> got the feel of the power on him. look he's down to the last Look, the last couple of things, and I'd locked the drag right up. Look, Shimano static locked, and all I could do is hang on and hope for the best. What size was that then, you reckon? No, you can't tell it. No. That could be anything from 20, 60, 60 pounds, 70 pounds. 50 pounds. 200 pounds. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how much line I get back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. Oh, God. That's a hundred. Seventy. Eighty. Oh my God. I've got it all back. There you go, look. I got the lot back. I got it all back guys, so nothing was left out there. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, a packer. 15 pound line. <laughs> on a big ray like that. Mental. <laughs> Come on, mate. Here we are, look. Paul's very generously giving me this rod. Oh, now he's waking up. What is it? Oh, 
Shall we move to the bus? Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. Shall I do the drag a little bit? No, don't touch the drag. The drag's fine. Okay. This one's heading out the same way as the last one. You can put as much pressure as you like on that. Butterfly. Wow. Don't stop, Paul. You need to get you need to get down there, mate, with your light. Yep. Come on. Butterfly. That's a butterfly. Oh my god, can we get him a bit closer? Can we get him a bit more or not? Or we'll just leave it there. Yeah, no, you can bring him up a bit more. Oh my god. Wow, look at that. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> ah, pleasure. Right, get some decent lights on me. This is it, guys. Bertie Ventura. Oh my god. How big? Oh, 40. Might be 50. What do you reckon, oh, Dale? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, at least 40. And I thought he'd come off, didn't I? Because he'd come in and like done me like on the slack line. That's a shot looking for. Nice, nice. Fish is better looking than you. I know that. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. So happy. And these, these, these rays are a continuous wing. So you just can't, you can't pick them up for a photo or anything, it's just impossible, yeah? Oh my God. Look <laughs> at the size of it, man! So we're estimating what, about 40, yeah. 50? Yeah, around the area. Mate, that's massive. That is massive. That's better. How's that? That's perfect, let's get up here a bit more. So here we are come out on this beach tonight with Paul and um, Dale. I forgot your name already. <laughs> Mate, I'm a mess. I've been spooled by something and I wonder if this has got the hook in it when we turn it over, yeah? Yeah. I wonder if it's got my little 1-0 hook in it. What do you reckon? Anyway, back to the story. I've come over here. Third time lucky, guys. What can I say? Thanks very much. Well done. Thanks, Paul. Well done. Turn this baby over. Whoa, baits come out already, look. And a barbless hook. Yeah, nice barbless hooks. Let's just check he hasn't got anything else in his mouth. Yeah. Now, no little one out hook. No little. <laughs> yeah, look at that for a shot. How's that? Whoa. Here we go. Come on then, mate. Get you back down. You doing a fart then? <laughs> Go on, mate, watch it go out. Get the, keep the light on it, Paul. Yeah, it. Oh my God. Woohoo! Here we are. Night three, the last night. We are on it, son. The Harris, the Dow Boy, the Bass. We are on it. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Big, big, big stingers tonight. Big stingers tonight, guys. Oh. So yes, we had a night off last night. With you, my dear, nice romantic night. So it was. So it was, yes. And this is the third and final night, so wish me luck and I'll see you, sexy, in the morning. Good luck. Here we are. Here we drive well. So who's the stumpy guy that I'm going to meet? Stumpy. 
Pete. He's a, it's a big stinger with a stumpy tail. a little stingy with a stumpy tail. <laughs> and he, uh, he's known to everybody. That's and stumpy. It's, it's about 130, yeah. probably a bit bigger. Yeah. That'll do, that'll do. As long as it's not a two pound bait rod, eh? <laughs> We are just arrived. Beautiful little beach. And yeah, a bit of an update, guys. Um, yeah, so forget the advice about the 40 pound mono straight through with no leader, it's not good enough, okay? So I um, only really realized that the other night fishing with these guys. And it's got to be, you know, 78 pound braid with a 100 pound leader on top. So it gives you something to hold on to, like when you've got these fish in the gutter in the surf because they don't want to come in, yeah? So yes, I'll uh, hold my hands up there, guys, and say that wasn't the best advice. And Paul has kindly lent me some of his old reels. So here we go. There we are. 100 pound pulley rig. A nice mackerel. 80 wide gates. Here we go. Yeah. On the bait rod. Whoa. <laughs> wow. So big baits over here, whole mackerel, whole sardine. And this is a stingray bite here. This had been going on for a few minutes, just tight and slack, tight and slack. Very shy bite. When I picked up the rod, it went zzzz. Right, guys. Here we are, two hours in. Here we go. Oh, that's it. Oh, The old Naga, the Viagra rod, <laughs> stiffer for longer. He's under you. It's big, whatever it is. Delay. Oh my god. Big, man. I'll tell you what, my nuts are feeling it. <laughs> Yeah, lazy. I don't know what 
Will Eighty. I'm shaking so much, guys. <laughs> a bit under the weather today, a bit too much sun, sea and salad. But yes, we've come out again, haven't we, guys? Done it again. Good job I had uh, some decent braid on, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of that £40 mono rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you live and learn, don't you? Do you know what I mean? I'll take the advice. And here we are. I don't know what to say mate, I'm absolutely buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Bertie Ventura 2023, the definitive shore fishing guide is now complete. All I need now is a monkfish. Right, what do you do now? <laughs> I'm not going to hold that up, am I? Get a bigger one. Get a bigger one and get the back of it. That's the best bait I'm off. Yeah. Oh, the rod, rod behind the ball. Okay, move on. Yeah, fine. What do you want me to do? Okay, I'll move. Right. Well, I haven't done this before. Right, so what do I do? Just sit down. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at the size of it. How thick it is. Yeah. That's where the weight is. Wow. So it was down to me to release this magnificent fish, but look at its stinger trying to get me left and right, left and right. Absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, she swallowed the hook right down. I could, I could hardly see it. So we thought it best just to cut the line off as close as we could to the fish and, you know, before releasing her. We did our very best and it was very windy. You getting this? You still rolling? Yeah. Right. Like a dog. Yeah, I do. What a beauty. Thank you very much, darling. Get down this side with that. Right, should we flip him back over? Yeah. yeah. This is the first time I'd ever handled a stingray over 60 pounds, and it was my job to get her on the right way, and I think I did a good job considering. So I was absolutely buzzing. This thing was like half a foot deep. It looked massive to me, even though it was just a medium-sized ray. Right. Come on, darling. That's it. Over the rock. Come on, look at that. Now get a light on it. There we go, guys. Look at that. Can you go backwards? That's it. Wow. Go on then, darling. There you go. Yes! Oh, wow. We didn't measure it. <laughs> mm, you've got 60 pounds. 60 pounds. <coughs> Easy. Easy. Yeah. Oh, it's back to big, wasn't it? Yeah. Here we are, last roll of the dice. Last chance saloon. Double sardine. Yep, we got tension, boy. Yeah, I'm in. Not massive. So here I was, a, attached to this amazing creature, being towed along the beach to my left. It, these things don't really go that well compared to a stingray or the butterfly rays, but it certainly, it certainly took me up the beach quite a, quite a way before we could get to it and land it. 
I was really nervous and these are such cool fish. A bit like our angler or monkfish in the UK. So I'd never caught one of those. So I put a whole cuttlefish head on there, about that big, and a sardine. And there's my angel shark. So there she was, my angel shark, the grand slam. I couldn't believe it, I'd caught the grand slam. All three fish on my list, absolutely amazing. Just be careful with these guys, their mouth is huge. Bigger mouth than me. I oh, no, we'll go that Not far. Not that far. Nah. Oh, mate, what can I say, guys? Well done. Well done. And it was on my rod. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. What time is it? Half 12? Yeah. Half past 12 at night. Tide's coming up. Predator's coming out. There you go. Job done. That's, that's it, man. That's the grand slam for me. What's the, what's the, what's the, uh, got any tips? Yeah, keep your hand out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it, got it, got it. And by the way, guys, the, uh, the hooks have got to be barbless. That's right, isn't it? Yep, yep. Yeah, circle so we got some barbless. barbless circle hooks. Because these angel sharks are protected. Good. Sorry, I'm, abs I'm an absolute mess, guys. Sorry about that. Take this little darling out there. Yes, that's the grand slam. Thank you very much, guys. Get the body back, come back. Pull around. Beautiful. And here we are, look. What an incredible experience. Great bunch of guys. We're all in this together. These, these angels are protected. You know, get them out for a quick snap, back in the water. She'll go off absolutely fine in a minute. Go on, darling. There she goes. Oh my God, what a trip. I'm absolutely buzzing. I think she's actually a bit disorientated with the lights. There she is, she's going now. Oh my God. Also just like to take this opportunity to thank Paul and Dell for their help and support, but mainly the cheeky girl. Yes, the cheeky. She basically paid for my holiday. Oh my God, love you, babe. She's gone, look, that's a wrap. Right, that's it, guys. That's, that's probably the end of the journey for this trip. So I've had me three nights and that was absolutely brilliant. Please be inspired by my video. Come over, give it a go, bring the right gear, do your own work, watch the video, subscribe, comment, question. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon back in the UK. Yes! Here we are, 2 a.m. I'm not doing the walk of shame tonight, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs>